Rule number 81. Causal clauses introduced by quad, quia, and quanyam take the indicative or the subjunctive, depending on whose authority the clause is based. The last several rules we've been dealing with the subjunctive, result clauses, relative clauses of characteristics, purpose, and proviso clauses. These all take a verb in the subjunctive mood without question, but we're going to start talking about clauses that can take the indicative or subjunctive mood, depending on the meaning of the clause. The topic of this video is the causal clause, and when it takes a verb in the indicative mood, and when it takes a verb in the subjunctive mood. First off, let's define a causal clause. The term causal tells us that this clause will show the reason why something happened, its cause, and these are introduced by the particles quad and quia, both of which mean because or since. Quonyam carries with it the sense of already or now from the yam, and so it's often translated since now, but since or because are perfectly acceptable. And there are slight differences in meaning between these words, but we're not going to get into that. Instead, I want to look at how these words interact with the verb, and when and why each takes a verb in the indicative or subjunctive moods. When we use quad or quia, the difference between using the subjunctive or indicative moods comes down to a question of authority. If the person speaking or writing is the source of the reason, then we use the indicative mood. But if someone else is the source of the reason, then we use the subjunctive. Or let's put it another way. The indicative mood is used for reasons that are fact and known to be true, while the subjunctive is used for reasons that are hearsay or reportedly true, but may not be. So let's do a simple comparison. Tibi gratias egi quod mihi kibum parawisti. I thanked you because you prepared food for me. Here, I am assured of the fact that you prepared food for me, so we use the indicative mood for the perfect tense parawisti. But let's change this around to something like this. Iratissima eras, quod tibi non gratias e gisset. You were very angry because he had not thanked you. We use the subjunctive e gisset because we're trusting your authority on the fact that he wasn't nice. Perhaps we could say, you were very angry because as you said, he hadn't thanked you. Here's one from Cicero that uses the indicative. Cur igator pacem nolo, quia turpis est. Why, therefore, do I not want peace? Because it is disgraceful. The causal clause about peace being disgraceful is factual from that first person's perspective. But here's another from Cicero that uses the subjunctive. Noctu ambulabat de mistocles, quod somnum capere non posset. The Mystocles would walk around at night because, as he claimed, he could not sleep. Our source for Themistocles' sleeplessness is different from the writer and so we use the subjunctive. In contrast with quad and quia, quonyam regularly takes the indicative, as in this bit from the Aeneid, superat quonyam fortuna sequamur. Since fortune has the upper hand, let us follow her. Our verb in the quonyam clause, superat, is in the indicative mood, even though the main verb is a joseph subjunctive. In this one from Caesar, quonyam obsidione liberatum cicaronem sciebat, Existimabat, you know, since he knew that Cicero, and that's Quintus Cicero, Marcus's brother, had been freed from the siege, he thought that, etc. We have the authority of Caesar, the writer, that Cicero was actually rescued from the siege. One more note. In indirect speech, like indirect statement, the subjunctive is used with quad quia and quonyam, like other dependent clauses. And this also fits with the theme of this video since indirect speech is often on the authority of someone else. In short, the indicative is used with causal clauses when the speaker knows on their own authority that the clause is a fact, and the subjunctive, especially with quad or quia, is used when the clause is just simply reported to be the case, but may or may not actually be the case, or it's used in indirect speech. And this maps out well with what we know about the indicative and subjunctive moods, the indicative is used for factual statements, while the subjunctive mood is used for things that may or may not be true. So rule number 81. Causal clauses introduced by quad, quia, and quonyam take the indicative or the subjunctive, depending on whose authority the clause is based. 